We're live. Holy shit, this is loud. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Listen, here's the deal. Uh, I'm a little bit la late. I'm one minute late. I apologize for being late. Uh, hold on, let me readjust my thingy. Much better. Sorry, 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 sorry. So yeah, I'm late. Uh, the only reason I'm late is because I found out I really needed to pee about 30 seconds ago. So I had to do that. Uh, you know how it is. Fuck, this game is loud. Yeah, let's go and continue. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls Trace, as they say. Uh, we have a bunch of people to thank. Let's wait until people start joining. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that point. Let me check the quality. Everything seems fine. Oh yeah, I'm wearing this outfit, which looks stupid with this shield. Uh, I'm really kind of, I'm buffing myself to be able to use this shield. That's like the end goal. Hey Dean, what's up? What's up, what's up? So that shield is like the end goal. <clears throat> but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this build. This fucking magic carpet on our back is quite insane. Uh, but yeah, let's see if the notification actually went out. It definitely went out last week. Because uh, people were joining like crazy. Hey Kirky, what's up? What's up? What's up? We are going to go to, I think we were doing, yeah, we we're doing the catacombs. I remember, I remember now. Never. Nightbot never bans anyone, actually. <clears throat> yeah, why is my voice so scratchy? Today, I don't know, it's one of those days. One of those days. Uh, you know what? Let's fashion this out a little bit. I mean, none of these shields would look good, actually. <clears throat> now that I'm thinking about it. Wait, let's not fall for this. This is a beautiful character. Exactly, but Nightbot is immune, you know. He actually has the antidote, he just doesn't want to share it with anyone. That's just how Nightbot is. Fuck, I need to turn on the AC uh, in a bit. It's really fucking hot in here. I don't know about where you live, guys, but summer, like, really kicked into overdrive today. Uh, it was crazy hot here. Uh, crazy hot, yeah. So I might need to palm up the AC, you know, I'm just not used to having to use the AC, honestly. It's just the... It's just how it is, you know. This motherfucker is getting yeeted. Told you. I yote him off the cliff. Hey, Aizmo. Oh, th this enemy, the jumping one, yeah, yeah, he he's pretty annoying. Hey, everyone, by the way. Other people who are here as well. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to thank the people who followed since the last stream. Cream Cheese Bees, I, I like. I like that name. You know, sometimes you see a name... And you think, why didn't I think of that? I think Cream Cheese Bees is one of those names. Uh, Cream Cheese Beans, I'm No Moth. That's a good one as well. Got the Glaze. Damn. Twitch follower names are on a point today. GG's, boys. Not Got the Glaze, Mikrop, and Nocturnius. Thank you guys all for the follows. If you are here watching right now, or if you are not, uh, thank you for the follows. Really appreciate it. 
Yeah, nothing wrong with going across that bridge. Nothing bad ever happens when you go across the bridge. Wait, hold on. Where's the fucking... Oh shit, I was just there. I'm stupid. Easy mode, strength mode, yes. That's how it is. Oh shit. He... He's better at strength mode than I am. Um... Yes. So this is easy mode. Um... Basically. That's kind of why I wanted to play a strength build. I want to steamroll this game. You know. Anyways, we're gonna try that again. Because that was not good. And Zorik has some poise, you know. He got... He got hit by a fucking great sword, and he just like, you know, stood up and brushed it off. It's not an easy feat. So obviously, you know... I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, I want to. It's actually... I don't know if it's been changed, but the last time I used the Fume Ultra, I wasn't actually... I wasn't actually that impressed with it. Uh, I found it... Oh shit, there's a secret door here. I found it to be kind of underwhelming. But maybe that's been changed since then. But that, that thing has like a ridiculous strength requirement. See you. It's kind of satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. 50, yeah. What the hell? That was, that was a weird... Okay. 50 strength. That's kind of crazy. I mean, we'll get there probably. Because no reason not to keep pumping up my strength. It's just... And it has a special upgrade path as well, so... Uh, oh, there we go. Should be called Priest Slayer Zorig. I mean, look at this outfit. So again, as I was saying before I was rudely killed by Zorig. Oh, fuck. Cheating. I'm only kidding, of course. Oh, yeah? Well, I got a surprise for you. Whoa. Your frame rate is low. He's lagging. Oh, yeah. Have a go at my strength build. He doesn't have healing, does he? I don't think he does. Yeah, he's dead. I've never fallen to my death in my life in any of these games, obviously. That's a pretty good ring, isn't it? It's better than a fucking blue tear stone. Uh, especially when using a greatsword. Cool. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. We have something to discuss, boys. And girls. Uh, I think... We pretty much know what's been on the mind of everybody. Uh, it's Demon Souls. Demon Souls Remastered is actually coming. I cannot believe it. When I saw the trailer, I was like... I, they actually made it. Like, I was mind blown. Because I was so sure that it wasn't gonna happen. Demon fucking Souls. And it's not, it's not even a remaster, it's a remake. I was so sure that it wasn't gonna happen because of like the licensing issues. I guess they worked it out. And that is insane because you all know, like, I played Demon's Souls before. You all know what my thoughts are on it. I think it's a brilliant game, but the graphics really show their age. It has some really, really clunky mechanics, like extremely clunky by today's standards. And it's kind of a bitch to play, like you either gotta drag out your PS3, hook it up, or use an emulator, uh, which is what I did the last time around. So, the fact that it's coming to the console, 
I'm still kind of in a dilemma, if I'm going to be honest with you, because I think I've talked about this before, but I kind of have a philosophy of not buying new consoles on launch because uh, they always seem to have, you know, like a weird, like just, I don't know, like console launches are weird. They're just weird. Uh, so I always... Okay, I got bitch slapped. So my philosophy normally is to wait a little bit. But... Then again, Demon Souls is out. And... That's it. That is a little bit tempting. I'm not going to lie, that is extremely tempting. Holy shit, he goes down quick. So that's my issue. Uh, I will see, or wait and see, what the PS5 will cost. But it's definitely tempting. Out of all the games shown, honestly, I think Demon's Souls is the one. If they're gonna hook me with one game, obviously it's gonna be that. Cool. And I think it's actually a pretty smart decision that they're going with that. Uh, because if you remember back to PS4, when that game, when that system came out, really the first like must have game I would say on PS4 was Bloodborne. Is it 700 euros though? I don't remember the price. Hold on. Because I, if I remember, that was just a rumor. Uh, PS5. Sony hasn't confirmed the PS5 price yet, but analyst predictions have placed the PS5 price in the region of $500, £449, and $700 Australian dollars. Honestly, I think if they made it €700, Euros, they're fucking crazy. Like, nobody's going to buy a €700 Euro console. Uh, I would guess like the 500 bucks range is probably the most, probably the most likely. I'm hoping it's not 700, that would be crazy, like I said. Uh, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't buy it then. Because, you know, like... You know, like, uh, 400, 500, yeah, 500 bucks, which is like, it's like 430 euros, 430 euros, which, you know, it still isn't cheap. Obviously, it's not going to be cheap, uh, but that's more in the range of, like, you know, fine, it's good for a Christmas pre present. Uh, I'm gonna pump up my HP a little bit because I'm lacking HP in this playthrough. I think that would be much more reasonable. Hopefully it's going to be that and they don't screw it like they did with the PS3. You, you got, I, Probably everybody remembers PS3 that it was insanely expensive and that was like the biggest issue with it. Just like how insanely expensive it was. Uh, hopefully, Sony isn't stupid enough to make that, that same mistake. Hey Moaz, what's up man? How are you? Hope everybody's having a decent Saturday or a good Saturday not even a decent good Saturday BB on PC I'm hoping to for it as well uh, even just for the mods alone would be would be nice you know okay I think I can use some of these souls I don't need them okay, okay this should be good Shit, did I already buy? Okay, whatever. 
Maybe this will be a good shield. This shield is ridiculous. Like, look at it. How does it look? <laughs> okay, I think, I think we're rocking on. We're rocking this shield for now. That's such a stupid attack. But cool. Stupid but cool. Obviously, I'll switch to normal shields when we're actually at a boss. Uh, we'll pop back to where the fuck is it? Cathedral. That's what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for the Onion Bro cosplay. Uh, the thing is, well, do I want to do his quest? I mean, I'm not going to be able to wear his armor because it would overburden me anyways. I think by the time we get it normally from him, from his quest, I'll be at the perfect, perfect buffness to play an Onion Girl, which is the, which is the ultimate goal. Even though the weapon is not going to match. So we'll give it to him. We'll continue on the quest normally. It's pretty easy to get his armor anyways. Yeah. Exactly. Makes the boss more fun I would say. It's a pretty good boss. For a set piece boss. I mean that's the thing like. It's gonna be crazy how many new people are going to be experiencing Demon Souls. You know, like when I streamed it last time, like some people were just like blown away. They were, they were like, "What? what is this game? You know, like there is a significant chunk of the Souls player base who have never played Demon Souls. They don't know what it's like to be hit by the scraping spear acid surge combo, which... I'm hoping it still remains and we can we can introduce new players to Demon Souls through those means. I'm really hoping. It's really going to depend on how much of a remake it is. Uh you know. But they got to keep the scraping spear like an iconic Demon Souls troll weapon. All right, I got this enemy to deal with. This is going to be fun, fat rolling. I am fat rolling, right? Okay, he's dead. Wait, I'm not fat rolling. I was like, what the hell? Hold on. Oh, it's because of the shield. Okay. Because if you don't know, if you are new around here, the, the other challenge or part of this challenge is that I'm always going to be fat rolling. This one's better. Okay, I broke the challenge rules a little bit. I think I think we will survive. Survive the trauma. Anyways, really we're making nightbot Shout out to Nightbot. We are making pretty good work through this area, if I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, with an OP ass build like this, I don't expect the game to be that difficult. Holy shit. And this isn't even, I don't remember what I have this upgraded to, but it's not like super, super upgraded, this weapon currently. It's already like wrecking shit. What does this do though? It deals okay damage, takes stamina though.
Yeah. This is not an amazing shield. Fuck. The disadvantages of fat rolling, you know. Because this game is so panic rolly, you know. Just how it is. You just gotta panic roll. And it's weird sometimes. Normally, normally I can't either, honestly. But we gotta keep this run interesting somehow. Uh, I feel like if I played a normal strength build just without anything, uh, this would be like way too easy. Alright, come on, boy. I mean, it's easy enough as is. I don't think so. This area is pretty good though. Question is, where shall we go? Where well, well, I'm being fancy to. Where shall we go next? Uh, whether we want to go to Irithyll first. I guess we gotta go to Demon Ruins as well. We gotta keep that. That's my dog, by the way. Uh, you know how, you know how it is. I don't think there's a stream where my dog doesn't make a ap guest appearance. Sometimes unwanted. But that's just how it is. God, there's a lot of damage. What the hell? Oh, the other one! That's why I was like, where am I taking damage from? I forgot there's two of them. There's one up there as well. Oh, yeah. Is that how you want to play it? We'll play it like that. Don't want to play it like that. God, I cannot believe this still clips through. It clips through the armor and the shield as well. Fuck. Did I get... I did get them aggroed. Something I didn't want to do. Oh well. I guess it doesn't matter. Holy shit. One hit and it breaks. Okay, cool. So one, th one hit is all it takes. There's brutal strength builds in this game. They're brutal. Brutal legends. God, does anybody remember that game? That was a thing that happened. Brutal legends. I swear there was a... Oh shit! We can upgrade. As if we were not insanely strong enough. Uh, we can go and upgrade our weapon now. Yeah, 8pm, yeah. 8pm my time. Uh, Central European time. Sorry, I didn't I didn't specify that in the announcement. Hey Fry, by the way. Oh, I didn't talk to Henri, did I? Shit. Well, I'm not going for that quest line anyways. We're going for one of the less complicated endings. Uh what did I want to do? I wanted to do something. Oh yeah, we will go to the Demon Ruins or whatever it's called.
Daughters of Ash. Yeah, Daughters of Ash is fun. Actually, the last episode wasn't so fun. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I've had better times with that mod than the last episode. Uh, endurance is needed as well. But still, I'm still enjoying it a lot. I'll actually upload a longer episode tomorrow. I was gonna upload a longer episode yesterday but if I'm gonna be honest with you uh, I went shopping and Jägermeister was on sale and I kinda just got drunk on Jäger yesterday and didn't feel like being productive uh, so I wasn't so that's how my yesterday evening went that's why there wasn't an um, episode yesterday but hey Again, it sometimes happens, doesn't it? Uh, so we all have those days. Oh shit, I didn't turn my light on. Okay, whatever. I'll do that later. It's not... It's super light out now. Until late. Still off work? Damn. I was never not... I mean, no, I was never off work, actually. Uh, worked full. Hitting the red one. Actually, that's the thing. Like, you know, people were saying that in general, alcohol consumption increased quite a lot. I'm assuming where it's legal, weed consumption as well. And even where it's not legal. Although... Guess it's difficult to social distance from your dealer, you know, if you think about it. Yep, told you. Oh fuck, this is double crossed. That's what I feel like. Okay, you fight it out with the skellies. The cheating ass moveset. It's just how it is, you know. Like. Oh, yeah, the mimic. See, the thing is. <laughs> somehow that never works for me. Hey, Lumino, by the way. Doing well, doing well. In general. Yeah, I've tried the mimic thing a lot. And it's never worked. Demon Souls hype. We were just talking about it. That it's crazy. Like again, I have to eat my words, you know, because all this time I've been saying that it's not gonna happen because I was so sure that it wasn't gonna happen, and it's happening. Oh, he's still alive. Fuck. Okay, let's actually kill our enemies. Yeah, this this weapon has been working out quite well, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, not much has been able to withstand it. Yeah, so the Demon Souls thing is absolutely crazy. Now the only thing I'm hoping for is, number one, that they don't fuck it up. Uh, number two is that Sony doesn't fuck it up, i.e., you know, the PS5 is on, like, 700 euros, uh, and, like, has some crazy, sp I don't know, you know, like, anything, like, I, I have to admit, I will admit that I am a Sony fanboy, I've always been kind of more Sony-oriented, Guess from when I was a kid and my first console was PS2, that kind of set the mood for me. But the thing is, the PS3 was an absolute fuck up of a launch. The PS3 had a horrible launch. So I'm hoping they don't go that route. Oh shit. Am I fast rolling? Okay, no, 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 I'm not. I was really worried for a second. It does, it does look better than Seki Row. Even though, you know, I like my Sekiro. 
but still. I mean, Demon Souls has always been the fan favorite, one of the fan favorites. And again, you know, putting everything aside, just the fact that we will have an easy way to play Demon Souls instead of having to go like emulators or uh, like digging out an old console or something like that. You can just like go and play Demon Souls, you know. Shit. What? Did you see the damage? I almost got fucked up by a horse. Not gonna let that happen. This dude likes his spins. Oh, he has a pretty good shield as well. He has the Lavellan shield. Which I think you do get from him. I... Was that the right? No, that wasn't it. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's a small shield though. But it looks pretty cool. And it doesn't... And it kind of clips through. I hate it. hate everything clipping through. I'm making good progress here, if I'm going to be honest with you. I need to make good progress, honestly, because... Uh, two more weeks and I'm going on holiday. For over a week. And I want to finish this playthrough before I go. Uh, that would be shitty to leave. Leave you guys hanging. So... As always, you know, I always promise that I'll stream during the weekdays, but somehow I, I always get sidetracked, you know. There's just a, a, lot, a lot of things to do. And a lot of th things not to do, you know. If I'm gonna be honest with you, it's summer. Uh, I tend to be less productive during summer. I think most people are. You wanna just kind of chill a little bit more. This is an absolute clusterfuck of an area. Can we just say that? Where does it hit him? Okay, it's hitting him. That's what I'm doing. Kill is a little bit... Uh, strong of a word because I'm just going to stand here and... Wait for the ballista. That's what I'm hoping for as well. Change some of the clunky mechanics, and you're good to go. You're good to go. I'm hoping they are keeping Acid Surge and Scraping Spear as it is. That's like the... That's like the big, the big hope. What a fight, right? Running Firestorm, yes. All the... I'm hoping that all the cheap shit is intact, you know. Is it dead? I think it's dead. Because if all the cheap shit is gone, I'll be pissed. Yeah. Nerf magic, but... Please, please add... Please add uh, poise into the game. That would be very much appreciated. For us to actually have a poise mechanic. That's definitely... I think they can, they're they definitely going to make new weapons and shit. Because honestly, the, the availability of weapons or selection of weapons in Demon's Souls is fairly limited. Uh, do I want to do this? Do I want to fight this guy? He hits pretty hard. I'm thinking the final arch so might happen because, like when you when the when the trailer starts, they actually show some snow area, and Demon Souls of course never had a snow area. I gotta turn on my fucking light. Give me a second, because it's getting way too dark here.
I feel like that's way better, right? Hold on. Gotta get back into the gamer position. Yes, get the help. Just like that. Snap my fingers and... Lights turn on, you know. It's, it's how it goes in this household. Yeah, final. So I think the fact that they showed a new biome, you know, technically, because Demon Souls doesn't have snow, I'm hoping that means it's final Arch Stone. And I'm hoping it's not gonna be like fucking day one DLC or some shit like that, you know. Because I'm just wondering, uh, you know, new console generation, uh, what type of new dirty tactics they're gonna come up with. To sell shit to us or force us to buy shit. I'm guessing the next one is gonna be which the PS5 is already doing. Is the. Is this like digital. Oh fuck. Holy shit. There's a lot of damage. Damn. So I'm guessing the new stage of it is just this uh, kind of digital console type deal. Like the fact that you don't actually own any of your games. I think that's going to be like the next stage. And you can like... I'm sure they're going to have some shit like you only get your game for like six months. It's a subscription based thing. I mean they're already doing that with this... Uh, you know, like Anthem and all those games, they have this uh, roadmap of content. Yeah. I feel like next generation, the scumminess is definitely gonna increase. But generally, if they manage to complete Demon Souls, I'm gonna be a happy camper. Look at this trick. These tricksters. Holy shit, I hit him. I hit him. That's awesome. I love it when that happens. When the great sword hits twice. Yeah. Oh fuck. Unbelievable. Okay, it doesn't deal as much damage as Where does it deal a lot of damage? One of the Souls games. Any of these enemies deal crazy amounts of damage. Question is, am I gonna make that jump? I've, of course I'm not gonna make that jump. Why would I make that jump? It's all good though. Not making this jump isn't the end of the world. Man, the enemies are dropping a lot of shit. It's just how it is. I still cannot get my fucking mic position right. Good. Good, good, good. By final boss, you mean... Uh, oh, shit. You mean Alant? Oh, will I get to fight the old one? I don't know. I don't know if there would be a way to make the old one enjoyable to fight, you know. Like, Souls, game, Souls games in general struggle with the huge bosses. But, you know, maybe, like, have different endings available. Because, you know, like, probably Demon Souls is the most black and white of Souls games in terms of endings. Like, you very clearly know which one is the ending for dickheads. Like, you stabbing the maiden in the in maiden in black in the back. That's quite a tongue twister. So, yeah, like, you know, maybe having a secret ending or... Like, all uh, all of the latter Souls games have, you know. Like, Bloodborne has the turning into the worm ending. This one has the Londo ending, so... I'm down with anything, really. Yeah, they can Dark Souls 2 it.
where they added pretty much the best ending, I would say. And the best, like, sequence of final bosses they could have added as well. So yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Again, as I said earlier to people who were here, I'm still hesitant about whether it's whether it justifies the uh, new console purchase, but it's getting damn close, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It's getting damn close to convincing. That is an unbelievable amount of poison damage. It's getting close to convincing me. Oh yeah, I know. I think I know. I like, really struggled with getting this fucking Estus Shard in one of the playthroughs. So which one is it? It's in here if I remember correctly. Oh wait, no, 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 it's in the previous area. Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. There it is. It's what I wanted. Oh, that's the bone shard, yeah, yeah, that's the... There is a bone shard and a... Oh, fuck, what the hell is happening over here? Ah, oh, that sucks, man, losing your saves. Luckily, that's never happened to me. Oh, shit. There's a lot of boys here. Oh, I love th when this weapon hits two enemies. It's so there's something so satisfying about it. And then like hella dropping. There are hella dropping Titanite shards. This bone shard is kind of annoying to get though. There are like five of these fuckers here. Just peppering you with flame bullets. Fuck. No. Go, 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 go. I ain't dying to this. Oh. What the hell is... Machine Gun Kelly. Are you... Just, just look at that. I mean, just look at that. Uh, I think I skipped this bone shard, didn't I? I think I'm gonna skip this bone shard now as well. I'm gonna figure out how to get back there. I always get lost in this place. Oh yeah? Okay. Might just do that. We have another bone shard. Oh, from the worm as well. Yeah. Okay, we're doing that. If you jump from here, right? Which I I I didn't manage to jump. <laughs> hey, I tried my best. Okay, gotta get my souls as well. If possible. Cool. And we can get the hell out of here. Oh, you fuck. 
What is the range on this? Okay, it's not gonna like turn the corner, is it? The projectile. That's crazy. And that's basically a theme for all Souls games though, right? Kinda, a little bit. It's better to just run past enemies, but you know, not always. This game is definitely, uh, like, you can definitely tell that sometimes it's just like, just go past these guys, fuck it. Oh, I always get lost here. I'm trying to get to the Tsorig area. I think it's this one right here, right? Is it? Because people... The fans desire Fume Ultra. Not like... Wait, did I just go... Did you just go back to where I was? I think I might have. Which would be pretty stupid. It's all good. I think this is this is the area. In this area, everything looks the same. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Um. Maybe you gotta go the other way, right? You drop down here. With these assholes. And then you hook a right here. Yeah, I think this is it. And this is where... Oh yeah, there's a hole. It puts you into that rat area, which is really annoying. So let's, not ju let's just not do that. feel like R1 is needed here. One-handed R1. Got that shit locked down. He's here somewhere. Because again, Fume Ultra has been requested. Oh shit, am I gonna get killed? No. Nyet is what we will say. What is that really edgy Game of Thrones line? What do we say to the god of death, not today, or something like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is what's down here. I remember that there was like some extra spiciness in this area and I forgot what it was but it's these things they're bullshit petrification which is somehow proccing very quickly probably because I stood in like four different clouds are you all dead? no you're not now you've got to be Yeah, we're good. And I think... Mr. Tsorigo... Is right here. Fake wall? Which fake wall? There he is. I cannot believe I actually dodged him. That stings. Uh, yeah. I did this version can definitely heal, right? Can he? Ow. Holy shit. That 
That damage though. Fuck. Damn. That was... That was insane. His fume ultra is definitely better than you could ever make the fume. Jesus. Uh, the question is, can I run past all these fuckers? Right? That's what I'm thinking as well. Fucking Zorig is a hacker. I always knew. Unless it's been buffed. But I'm not aware of it. What happens if you jump across here? That was a risky... I just noticed that there's lava underneath. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't... Oh, there is a fake wall here somewhere. You're right. Yeah. Now that you're saying it. They just like avoid all the... Okay, almost all of them. Okay, so where were we? It's like... hitting walls I think it's downstairs like right I think okay this motherfucker first of all two hand your shit okay you have a window a very small window to roll out I mean, you always get two hits, but it's a, it's a difficult, it's a difficult thing to, okay. Did he just hang himself? I think he did. Cool. There we go. Fume Ultra. Of course, the Black Iron, which people kind of also want me to see using great shields. I don't think I have the strength for any great shield. Okay, I gotta figure out where this fucking fake wall is. I'm gonna I'm gonna poke shit with my torch. Oh upstairs, yeah. Yeah, I remember it being like branched. Like this. Obviously, yes. Smack dab in the middle of the lava. Fuck, where is this shit? I'm so bad at remembering fake walls in this game. Huh. Did I miss one? Pretty sure I hit every single wall. Hold on. This is bothering me now. It's either I'm stupid. Which is very possible, or it's not here. I think I ate everything, right? Does it does it actually that's the question is does it actually lead to anything good? Um <laughs> Of course. Pyro book, oh, I, it doesn't matter. 
Now we're going to use Pyro anyways. This is a strength build. We're going off of muscles alone. It's like Zangief from Street Fighter. Okay, I almost got Yote off the cliff. And this is where the dumb ballista is. I'll show my stats. 2010, 2017, 30, 12, 997. It's definitely not my bank account number as well. It's not. Strength Pyro is cool, yeah, but we are going pure, again, pure muscle power a la Zangief. Yeah. Daughters of Ash Lava can eat a dick, if I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> this fucking Persian rug on my back is insane. The physics are crazy. This is such a strange area as well. Oh, really? Shield of Wand. Oh, is that the Nashandra shield? I'll turn this thing off and then I'll go get it. And then I can, like, explore the whole area. But if it's near, near the worm, I... I think I can get it pretty easily. What the hell is that? That was an interesting hit. By these bitch-ass bone wheels. These are not real bone wheels. They don't kill you in three seconds. Did the last one seriously just drop to its death? Oh, it's Vendrix shield. Okay. What up? Strange, it's only, strange that only one of you aggroed. It's not a problem. No, these guys can fuck you pretty hard if you're not careful. You see that pro... I told you. You see that pro fat roll fucking dodge? Hey Grim Reaper, what's up? Okay, let's turn this thing off. Uh, there it is. I thought that was a cutscene, but there isn't. This game... He, this game doesn't do cutscenes. I'm only kidding. Holy shit. It's a lot of damage. Okay, lover, okay, that sounds interesting. Man, Dark Souls 2 has pretty cool lore, you know, when you man now that you mention it, hey, that game has pretty good lore, doesn't it? eating up these large shards. Where is this thing? Uh, yeah. They are working on... I don't know if you guys have seen... 
Yeah, the fight is trash. Everybody can agree on that point. I don't know if you guys have seen that there's a modder uh, working on a mod for Dark Souls 2. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a complete overhaul. Like even more so, because a similar mod exists, like Daughters of Ash. But this guy is like working even more on rebalancing shit in the game. And I've seen a few pictures of it. It looks fucking awesome. Uh, maybe I already have it. I have the Lavellian shield. Spite crest shield. Oh, I do have it. Okay. Yeah, this is Vendrix shield. This looks pretty cool. I'll keep it. Clips through as well, but whatever. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Uh, no reason not to have it, you know. Uh, so. The thing is, the dude is working on bringing back the original lighting engine for uh, for Dark Souls 2. You know, like actually having dynamic lighting and he's just basically trying to make the game not look weird, you know, because Dark Souls 2 looks weird. And he's trying to like unweird it, you know. Because I think a lot of people... Like, there is gameplay problems with Dark Souls 2, no question. But I think a lot of people just have issues with the visuals. Um, it's kind of like very bright looking and shit. Alright. I think we're gonna go back. I'll try the, I tr I'll try the boss, because why not? No reason not to try it. Damn, 32. Okay. Jesus. I'll I'll keep it on definitely. Welcome to Very That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we're going with HP. Uh, what was I trying to do? Oh yeah, weapon upgrades. Hell, yeah. Oh, it's twinkling. Okay, the few Moltres twinkling. I like to as well, honestly. Yeah, it's you know. I think he's working on some gameplay rebalances as well, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Because, again, there is a mod similar to Daughters of Ash, but it really only expands one area, which is uh, Hate's Tower of Flame. And the rest is just like item rebalances and stuff like that. I'll still check it out, though. Okay, so this boss is very roll heavy as well. Oh, but he takes a lot of damage. He taketh and giveth damage. As nobody has ever said. I wonder what I can block with this thing. Is he doing? Oh, is he summoning? He is. I'm gonna save the heal. I mean, he's taking a lot of damage. I should, honestly.
I mean, look at how much damage this poor guy, poor, poor guy is taking. I can't even speak. Is he already? Is he gonna blow? He's gonna blow. And not like that. Sorry, Demon King. I feel bad for you. 65 average, okay. It might even be good for what's his name? Pontiff. Listen, that was mad easy. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, that was a wash. 13 0. That was definitely a 13 0. That is, yeah. If you don't know the joke there, I know not all of you guys are fighting game players. Back in the heyday of MKX, uh, two players, uh, Sonic Fox and Perfect Legend, had a first to 10 set where Perfect Legend managed to lose 13-0. Like, he was calling out Sonic Fox talking shit. So they did a first to 10. He got beaten 10 0. And then he came up with some bullshit about how, like, uh, he was expecting Sonic to play a different character and he wasn't prepared for this character. And, like, you know, bullshit. So they played an extra first to three set. And he got 3 0 there as well. And. I'm like, damn, how can you lose 13-0 in a first to 10? I have shards actually, uh, so I can actually upgrade the shield I want. Oh, use this Titanite scale though. I did not use these as well. I mean, I have enough, don't I? And that's still one of the funniest things. Losing 13 out of in a first to 10. Alright, we're all used up now. Let's go to... Yorshka. Cool. I think we'll just continue here normally. Guy, we still have like 50 minutes. Making hella progress actually. Um, yeah, no issues on this front. I've pretty much maxed my weapon at this stage as much as I can. I think it's at... it's plus six. I have chunks, but only one. Hey, another bone shard. It's not like we don't have enough of those already. Oh no, I didn't. What can I trade? Oh, Blackfire. Shit. Thank you. We'll do that next time around. Once I get back to Firelink. I always forget those trades. I think I have a Blackfire Bomb, don't I? Maybe I don't, but... Patches sells them, right? I think. Kukri. Kukri, for all you Hungarians out there, is just a little bit 
uh, too close to Cookie, but whatever. Jägermeister, drink that mixed with something or straight? Jäger I drink straight, just with beer next to it, you know, to wash it down. Uh, I don't like Jäger in mixed with mixed into drinks. Uh, Jäger for me is like a drink on its own, you know. Jäger bombs, yeah, not not a Jäger bomb type. That's like such a like. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So that I was about to say. Like, Jaeger bombs are like a 16, 17 year old's drink. Yeah, that like Jaeger you can drink a lot of. It's just if you get to the point where it returns, it's not the most pleasant. Coming back up. Did you see that pro? That was completely intentional, how I avoided him. Um, that's how much of a pro I am. God, these guys deal a lot of damage. It lets you get early upgrades, which is nice. You can get plus four before ward. I didn't know that. Before Vort? Holy shit. Yeah, listen. I am... I'll be honest with you, when I drink, I am a cocktail guy. But kind of like the classic cocktails, you know, like... Get all those, like, big-ass, fruity, bullshit drinks out of there. But something like, you know, uh, a martini or an old-fashioned, all those drinks, I'm a fan of those. A Manhattan, that's a great drink, a Manhattan. Campari tonic, that's a good one as well. Rob Roy, no, no I'm not. Oh yeah, Mint Julep, that's a good one as well, B52. Yeah, that's also a... Actually, B-52 is like kind of on the edge. It's almost a classic cocktail, isn't it? There is a disgusting drink, uh, but this is more of like a challenge type deal. It's called a uh, tapeworm, I think, where you put mayonnaise into Jaeger. Uh, and it's probably not good. I've never tried because I don't want mayo in my Jaeger. It's definitely in invented by white people. But, yeah. Oh, it also, it also has hot sauce. Yeah, it's hot sauce and mayo. Yeah. Whiskey or scotch with vermouth or bitters often served with a... Oh, shit, that sounds really good. That's the... Yeah, I, I don't know. Again, it's kind of like a challenge drink, I guess. Uh, but that Rob Roy, that sounds good. The only issue I can see running into is getting cherry juice. From somewhere. Palinka, yeah. There's like some crazy challenge drinks, which are probably never good. Okay, I'm gonna skip this dialogue because this is boring. I'm gonna drink the beer though. Nice. Oh, we drank it already. Have you heard? I guess so. Oh, speaking of that, fuck, you know, like I'm speaking of all these drinks. I am like stocking up my home bar. That's one of the things I'm doing. 
and I found everything. I have everything stacked, like grenadine, all the drinks. I cannot fucking find maraschino cherries anywhere. And I don't know where to look now. I checked all the supermarkets. I think Lidl has them, maybe. So I'll go to Lidl and check it. Uh, honestly, I didn't think that was going to be the most difficult ingredient to get. But whatever. Can this parry? I feel like I haven't parried in a long time. Am I two-handed? Because that would explain... No, I'm not. Weird. Whatever. Just backstab this motherfucker. There we go. There we go. Uh, how do you get upstairs? Oh, there it is. So this fucking maraschino, I don't know. Just don't have it here anymore. But I'll check little because little has everything. Yeah. I don't know why. But, but again, like when you think about it, even for like desserts or like an ice cream sundae or something, like maraschino cherries are so standard that it didn't even cross my mind that we wouldn't have it. But I guess, you know, you learn something every day. Oh, is this where Smo's armor is? Oh no, this is his hammer. Smo's armor is in this game, right? I'm not stoned. That might be also a good, like, troll armor set. Surprise. Missed completely. Wonderful. I'm just thinking. We have... I'm running out of Estus here. I'm running out of Drank. And this fucking Pale Shade is gonna invade here. So I haven't done the quest line. Yup. We're gonna make short work of this bitch though. Come on back down here. He has all the cheap shit. In terms of magic. Oh, fuck you. Get a load of this great sword. Okay, he took less damage from that than I thought. Get a load of this great sword. Gotta do the point down. What would this game be without the point down gesture, right? Are fist weapons worth it in this game? I honestly don't know. I th I think yes. There's some decent ones. This mannequin claw is, uh, is like two-handed or half two-handed. Like you know, like when you go to, to when you switch to two-handed, you get two weapons. I think they're good. Not as, not as good as this weapon though, that's for sure. Like this is really kind of annihilating everything. Let me just check something. So this has 63. 
Oh, this one has 89. Okay. We'll have to we'll have to switch to Pontiff or like during Pontiff. Cuz I feel like Pontiff could be a problem with uh not being able to roll. That's the thing. The only way it is the only way to choke it. What the hell? Is that Facebook? Weird. Watch this. Yes. He didn't die. It's harder. What's that fucking drink? Uh, it's also another one of these like bullshit drinks. Uh, when they take like vodka and like cherry syrup, and they and they put it into a soda stream to make it fizzy. Yeah, that also exists also a thing I think it's called holy shit I think it's called like a northern light or something that was godlike cannot tell me that it wasn't a godlike Fucking run around in a circle and hit them. So I got all the moves today. Kick Finn, yeah. I don't know why I'm... Oh, it's really fucking hot in here. I'm like, why am I getting sleepy? Then I realized I'm like, it's really fucking hot. I'm too lazy to go and turn my AC on now. It doesn't matter. I'm really hoping Pontiff is gonna be a bitch with this Ultra Great Sword. It's what I want to see. Uh, I ki I almost kind of wanna, but okay. Let's let's have like a measured stat improvement game here. And we gotta go up to this fool. Didn't forget. I could. I actually have a ton. Yeah, you're right. I used some. Uh, black fire bomb. What the hell is this? Rubbish. Okay. Thanks, it's also something. Oh, you're welcome, patches. What an asshole. If only he wasn't so useful. That's his only saving grace in Demon Souls as well. Just too goddamn useful. Mm. That's what it that sounds like. Kool-Aid is disgusting like normally as well. Hell yeah. Thank you for the tip. It's gonna make things Pretty good. How do I always get lost here? I remember, yes. Oh, you can? I didn't know that. Solar armor I don't really want. 
Okay. Uh, upgrade this shit. Chris Light makes a... <laughs> yeah, see, well, that's the thing. Yeah, it's weird like that. It's like, you know, those people who... You know, the classic of people who go to McDonald's and order a fucking... Uh, order, like, fucking double quarter pounder, large fries and all that, and then they get a diet Pepsi to go with it or Diet Coke. Or yeah, like getting the salad from McDonald's. That's the other thing. Like, if you've ever seen the fucking salad from McDonald's has like twice the amount of did I just warp I'm so stupid. Okay, that's when I'm telling a story instead of paying attention. Uh when you're when you like look at the McDonald's salad, the fried chicken salad has like more calories than like two Big Macs put together. So it's like, you know, that's some dumb shit to get that. <sighs> it's definitely a, like 18 is definitely the point in your life where you go for quantity instead of quality. Yeah, and that was the issue. Now I go for quality over quantity. You gotta do a reversal, you know. Wait, this is not the way. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Reset. We're doing a reset. I legit, like, listen, I'm just thinking that I legit forgot how you run back to Pontiff. <laughs> okay, hold on. So you come out here. Oh yeah, you take the little side. Yes. That Rob Roy sounds really good. I'm definitely gonna try that. Cool. Where is it? This I I I legit don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, I've never tried Pontiff, fat rolling. This is a pretty hard boss too. Oh shit! Oh shit! I think Houston, we may have a problem. Oh shit. So you can kind of avoid him. Motherfucker. Okay, I'm starting to see what the problem will be. The problem will be I'm not going to be able to put enough of a distance between him and me. And he doesn't stagger either, this motherfucker. He takes hella damage though, that's the... Kill the clone! Motherfucker. Guy, is the game seriously lagging? Fuck. <gasps> no. Chug, chug. Hit him. <sighs> okay. <sighs> it worked. This is this is called forcing your way, you know. Yes, this is a 
eggnog is well actually the thing is there are recipes for like homemade eggnog which look decent but the ones you buy in like bottles or boxes and shit that's i think that's not good that was insanely easy in the end actually i take back all i said he was a bitch or i'm just too much of a dark souls 3 expert you know what i really want to try though but you cannot get it anywhere i'd have to make it is butter beer like you know it's from harry potter of course but it is like a real thing it's kind of like a kind of like a dark beer cooked together and it's kind of like a winter drink favorite food and we're talking about always talking about food in every stream and I get hungry in the end uh, probably oh I should yeah I have a bunch of souls I think ramen is probably my favorite food I know it's a category but just so much you can do with ramen Oh, seriously? Dang. Salon to the... <laughs> the only thing I don't... Like... My history with Salon to the... And this is... This is gonna not make any sense for... Non-Hungarians, but... It's truly one of the worst... Foods ever invented. My grandma made it once, and I got sick from it. Uh... And since then, I've not been friends with it. How much do I need, though? Let me just check. Uh, we need 18. Okay, it's not, it's not that much. Yeah. The thing I'm afraid of is that the Fume Ultra is definitely not going to be as good as this weapon. Uh, that would be nice. If it w Thank you. I was going to say, just like a 5 second lag in the animation. So it's basically lungs. I think normally it's made with... I actually don't know. It's not pork. It might be pork lungs. La yeah, people. It definitely people don't make it out of lamb. Uh, maybe maybe beef or like cow lungs, and it's cooked with like sour cream and vinegar, and bay leaves, and it's. Fucking disgusting. Like, seriously. Listen, last time on Discord, I posted the picture of the three C, sh the three C shells. If I can actually talk. Uh, this time, I'll put a picture of Solon to the... That's, that, that is okay. Uh, that's bone marrow and onions. It's just really heavy. You can't eat a lot of it, because... You'll get, like, sick from it, too. Because bone marrow is really heavy. Let me just... Hold on. Adjust my chair. So, wait, let me just check the... Okay, so this is quick maps. Four... Thirty-one... Holy shit, this, this just does way, way more damage. Uh, it does way more damage. Sorry, we'll use the Fume Ultra as well. Snails, I've had snails. S 
I think that's overhyped a little bit snails. Just doesn't taste like much. Okay, so we'll aggro the two NPCs. Shit. Yeah, that's the thing. You can take like those peasant dishes and you can do quite a bit with them. But I think Saloon Lung, which is, that's the Salon to the, like, literally translated, it's, it's Salon Lung. Because that's not even an old peasant dish. Like, that's the thing. Like, that shit was invented in, like, the 40s. Or the 30s. Which was, like, probably a low point in culinary history. But yeah, you can do quite a bit with these, like, peasant foods. And charge a shit ton of money for them. This weapon, I swear. I'm talking about these spears. Oh shit. Hey, you're meant to be stunlocked through that. Drang twin spears. I've never used any of these drang weapons. Maybe that will be episode 2 of Cooking with Sketch. That was never an episode 1. Episode 1 of Cooking with Sketch had maybe will be me making Solon to the... You'll get to see. And then I can... I'll cook it and then throw it in, in the trash straight after. Cool. <laughs> roadkill. <laughs> That's like an American thing. Eating roadkill. But well, it depends on what it is, you know. It's good to be at least decent at cooking. It's like... I'd say that's a pretty important life skill, you know. As I'm sure many people have discovered during the quarantine. Yeah, it's a way of life. Exactly. Man, Nightbot is so on point on Twitch. I'm really happy with him. GG's to Nightbot. That's where you get the simple gem. Which I've never used once in my life. Alright, we're descending. Listen, just thinking of... I would say it's not really worth it. If you're talking about roadkill, I'd say it's not worth it as well. But, hey, whatever floats people's boats. I feel like there is grill cockroach. Hmm. 
When I was in California, way back, just visiting, uh, we stopped by, I don't know what the town was, it's one of these Californian coastal towns, and we went into this shop which was like, they sold like candy insects, you know, they had like those like chocolate covered like beetles and mealworms and all that. And we bought some just to see and we were curious. It actually wasn't that, it didn't really taste like anything. You know, I think with people eating bugs, it's like a mental thing. Because apparently it's like super... <sighs> Thanks Dark Souls 3. Gotta have, like ruin my perfect like I haven't died in so long. I don't die to Pontiff and that's what gets me. It's quite a wombo combo. Anyways, those like dried chocolate covered insects, they weren't that bad. They didn't taste like anything. That was one of the stupidest deaths. And this game can really like surprise you with these with these deaths. It's like the big fuck you. So let's do that again, or let's try that again. A bit better this time. We're gonna do some parrying. Maybe I should just run up. Yeah, why didn't I do this the first time around? This is way easier. Okay, he just stays there. Oh, you can? Let me just give this thing a spin. A spin to win. How good is it as a shield? It's decent. Probably does like mad stamina. Okay, that's 291. I mean, it's a cool weapon. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that does 291. I know this is like some ghetto ass weapon testing. Let me just see. How much do you want to bet I'm going to die to this guy? Just trying it. 337. So it does like way more because even when I was countering, the fume was doing 301. Yeah, I probably got to get it to plus 5 before it starts being better than this weapon. I can imagine that at plus 5 it gets better. Which I'll work towards. I mean, it's easy enough getting Titanite skills or whatever. Holy shit, you do a lot of damage. I was gonna say that was a bad idea. See, I knew that was a bad idea and I still did it. Oh well. Kind of have an urge just to run through all these motherfuckers and not even care, which you can do. In fact, I think that's what I am gonna do.
<laughs> we hit drinks, we hit food, now travel destination. I actually don't know. There's a lot of places I want to visit. Japan for sure, you know, like without going full Viubu. Yeah, okay, multiple people. Cool. Tokyo. Damn, a lot of people are Japan. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, Japan definitely. I kind I kind of was want to visit China as well. I mean, it's difficult to do that now. Uh, Costa Rica, that's a good one as well. Yeah, I mean, discarding, discarding the virus, you know, like without the virus topic, like. Costa Rica is cool because uh, it's, just, I, I, it's like very American, right? That's what I heard. I knew people who lived in Costa Rica. No anime here. Not for me, at least. But still, like, Japan for sure. Again, China as well. There's some, like, some really cool cities there. And the uh, Cleveland, yes, Cleveland is nice. And the ultimate travel destination, of course, is Belarus, probably. <laughs> I'm only kidding. There's that dude, that YouTuber, what's his name? Bald and Bankrupt. Who like travels to Russia and Belarus, but like like deep Russia and all that, like deep into Ukraine and all. That. And they're like really cool places. Netherlands as well, yeah. Uh, the thing the thing about those like Russian places, you know, like Belarus, Russia is that is the language barrier. You know, they're like super friendly. Who the hell was timed out? Damn, that's cold. Wait, he doesn't allow... He doesn't allow links? Hold on. Whoops. See, that I didn't know. Uh, I'll turn that off because links... I'm okay with links. Uh, I'll turn that off on Nightbot. The other ones are funny when he like bans people for using caps. But the, the rest... Greece is good. I like Greece. I've been to Greece many times. So we got that off the bucket list. Uh, would you rather have a human body with a head of a rat or a gorilla body with a head of a human? Wait, human body with a head of a rat? No, definitely gorilla body. Gorillas are like hella strong, aren't they? And agile and all that. Pretty much like every way superior to humans. So, yeah, I'll take a gorilla bro. Oh, the... It's like five seconds, yeah. But it's just because I keep it on as a joke. Uh, see, <laughs> told you. It's pretty funny. It's funny when Nightbot bans people. It's ice cold. Okay, I don't. I don't need to do anything else now, really. Cedar Point. That's a good one. Wasn't, isn't that close? Oh, no, no, that's Six Flags that's closed, right? One of them, like, never opened. But you gotta be, like, I think you have to type, like, a few words for it to ban you. I don't know what the limit is. Okay, listen here, guys. This was a fun one. <sighs> gotta stretch and knock into my mic stand. This is not a joke. And if you do it in a... If you do it in a sentence too, it doesn't count. Yeah. Shit. Ice cold. 
you are the missing link goodbye Demi did the fucking what is it weakest link roast yeah I think we're gonna go and wrap it up here uh it's been fun this is a really fun session as well I think we got a lot of stuff done listen I know I said many times that I'll start streaming during the weekdays but I actually start streaming during the weekdays because I actually have my plan like I know my schedule for next yeah yeah, yeah. go ahead uh, I have my schedule pretty good well for next week so thanks for watching guys and see you see you hear you goodbye